Well, thank you both so much for being here, Becca and Brandon. It's a pleasure to have you back. Uh, what I really want to get a sense of is how you've been following the candidates over the last few months, especially as we get closer to the primary. And Becca, I'll start with you. Um, as a college student, I've been really fortunate that in New Hampshire, we've been getting so much attention from candidates. And even though I go to a, a rather small private college, we've still gotten a really wide range of attention from candidates. So I've been able to see uh, Pete Buttigieg, Joe Biden, Tom Steyer, and we have some more candidates lined up for the future. Uh, and for me personally, as a first time voter, this person to person, seeing them in front of me contact is really important to make that connection. Sure. And Brandon, what about you? Yeah, I'm in a similar boat uh, going to UNH. There's a lot of candidates that always stop by and visit. Um, I was lucky enough to see uh, Pete Buttigieg when he came a couple months ago um, and uh, Bernie Sanders at a rally recently. So it's just been it's been really nice to to see that. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And when you do see them in person, what are you looking for? What kind of message are you hoping that they speak to? Becca? Um, I think my, what I look for, um, generally speaking, is excellent communication skills, being able to eloquently speak about questions that are being thrown at them, um, and also not having them sound very rehearsed, being authentic mm -hmm. is really important to me. Okay, and what about you? Yeah, I really value the town hall style meetings um, that a lot of candidates have been doing recently because it really gives them an opportunity to, to kind of speak um, and answer questions that aren't necessarily like easy softball pitches, if that kind of makes sense. Sure. Um, so yeah, when I'm looking at candidates, I like to see that they're honest and, and they can really, um, like, like you know, she said, answer eloquently. Sure, honesty, authenticity, yeah. well-spoken, those are all qualities that you're looking for. Do you feel that as students, as college students, first-time voters, um, that the candidates are addressing the kinds of things, the kinds of issues that you want them to address? Do you feel that they're addressing your needs? Um, I personally feel that I am, f for the moment, I, I'm rather impressed with what I've been seeing, especially in the Democratic field. Uh, I'm an environmental science major, so I care a lot about environmental issues and the language when approaching environmental issues is very important. And I've heard a lot of candidates speak out uh, about policies addressing environmental justice and mm -hmm. having them use that term, understanding that it's and environmental issues are affecting some people disproportionately. That's really impressive to me. So I I'm interested to see if they continue along this path. Okay. And what about you? Yeah, I've been really uh, interested in how specific a lot of the um, the uh, politicians have been in regards to like their domestic policy. Um, they've been very specific, especially people like Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. You can go on their website and they're very, very, very specific um, with how they plan to implement a lot of the policies they want to do. Uh, one thing that I've noticed that not a lot of candidates have been talking about is foreign policy as much. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just because uh, the past couple of years have been a bit tumultuous in the United States, you know, um, so it's, it, they're definitely focusing more on domestic policy. Uh, but I would love to see uh, some of the candidates issues, you know, things like the Hong Kong protests going on, sure. um, stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see how they respond Great. to questions like that. Thank you both so much for sharing your experience with us. And of course, we'll continue to follow your journeys through the presidential primary. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You.